Yo, what's going on, everybody? Ultimate DJs here from the Twitching Trek and Teaching Trek and Talking Trek properties here at Star, Star, uh, inside Star Trek Fleet Command. I'm all tongue-tied. And uh, welcome to July Arcfall. This is Voyager Part 3, so we're going to kick it off. And probably the most complicated mechanic I've actually ever seen in the game, at least at first glance. And I've kind of joked about the Voyager loop and how I've kind of liked that, even though it was complicated. But I did kind of joke that you hadn't seen anything yet. Well, strap in, take some aspirin. Your brain will thank you for it later. First, though, uh, something simple. Two officers this month, Epic Chicote and Rare Tuvok. Let's first take a peek at Epic Chicote. Let's hop into the game, and we'll take a look at uh, what Chicote looks like. Boom! There he is. This is Epic Chicote, and uh, his captain's maneuver is increasing shots versus armadas by 40%. Uh, the synergy values are unknown at the time of taping. Uh, his officer ability, though, increasing crit chance when you hit an armada by, uh, and it's going to increase your crit chance by 25% for two rounds each time you score a hit against the armada. Uh, and that would presumably be with a weapon. Guys, this is super, super interesting. This is essentially a hue for armadas, but you're going to put him on the bridge. This is a massive officer ability, especially uh, the more weapons that your ship has, the better it's going to be. It only takes two weapons firing per round to max your crit chance at 100% for the duration of your battle, and that's not even taking into account your other research and the impacts that you would have on crit chance, like projectiles and stuff. This is absolutely huge and honestly i can see him possibly even maybe being a better captain than janeway when it comes to armadas uh we'll take a look at tuvok let's see if we can go back and find tuvok here uh let's see back one whoopsies and Tuvok, here he is, rare Tuvok this month, uh, does not have a captain's maneuver, but it is going to provide another synergy option for Janeway if you've been struggling with how to crew and keep your below deck abilities intact, but surprisingly, not a below deck burning officer. He does not have a captain's maneuver, but the officer ability is increasing artifact tokens from formation armadas, because... <laughs> Uh, we don't have very many of those because of a certain cool down that's <coughs> too long. Uh, but let's take a look at the below deck ability and see if there's any value there. And thankfully, there is. Increasing Voyager cargo by X percentage, and that will grow as you level them up. The uh, tier up data is not available at the time of taping, but anything that increases Voyager cargo is absolutely going to be something kind of good. Regarding sourcing this month, Tuvok is a bit different than we've seen lately. If you do the $20 Battle Pass and all events, missions, and ticketed events that you see him in, then you can get him unlocked during the arc. But tricky, tricky, tricky. On ticketed event days, one of the ticketed events will source Chicote, and two of them will have Tuvok. We are being told that both ticketed events containing Tuvok shards will contribute to the unlock total this month. So hopefully you've got a few tickets banked up from previous months because you will need both of those ticketed events in order to get Tuvok unlocked this month. Chicote is currently scheduled for three weekends of solo leaderboards and paired heroic SMSs are being discussed and are not currently scheduled or planned for any specific version that we've seen lately. Although I'm sure we will see something, but probably something that we haven't seen exactly before. I wouldn't expect it to be the same heroics that we've seen the last two months, but I would expect to see something there. So now, okay, let's get to the meat and potatoes, which is where I'm going to blow your mind. This new mechanic is just... Big. It is so big. There's only one character who could bring it to us, and that is the one and only Q. That's right. Q is making his way into the game. It is Q's Trials. Um, and honestly, if I'm looking at the roadmap, this actually looks kind of like the Rite of Ascension we saw. Scopely hasn't confirmed that this feature was renamed, but this is essentially a progressive set of objectives that allow you to work through them, kind of like field training that will pay out rewards commiserate to the difficulty that you've unlocked. We're also told that it is essentially infinite and that even the largest players in the game will eventually find objectives too difficult for even them to complete as it is here and now. When that time comes, 
though, uh, you can repeat previous objectives and continue to earn their rewards. If you find one that pays you something in particular that you need, you can repeat those and get extra resources that you're wanting to acquire. There will be different paths that focus on different styles of objectives. Like you can see here on your screen, we see that there's a battleships ladder and an interceptor ladder and presumably an explorer ladder. There are 11, I believe, total ladders and they're all going to focus on different styles of objectives, most of them battle related. When you start one, you're gonna have 15 minutes and not a second more to complete the objective. If you fail or run out of time, then the challenge is over and you get to think about what a bad kitty you were until the next time you can start a trial. Just a friendly warning though, these objective hostels will spawn in a location relative to your starbase. So don't be parked so high up in warp space that you can't warp around because if that's where your hostel spawns, then you're done, right? 15 minutes will expire and you'll wait until the next time. You will have the opportunity, I believe, to run two of these trials per day. So let's take a look at a flow chart for how this thing is going to work, right? Uh, let me see. I think I've got one right here. Where is it? Uh, boom, there it is. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. I think, uh, no, do I have a more accurate one? Yes, I do. I have a more accurate one here. Here it is right here. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> this is, this is, see, these are the, the currencies and the, the refinery. Then you're going to do this and then it's going to source this stuff. And then you're going to break it into pieces with a hammer. And then you have a 36 day, I'm kidding. Uh, this is this is obviously not real. See, that's, that's fake. That's because I honestly am not a thousand percent sure how to, to actually explain this. Long story short, you're gonna get a new building. It's called Q's Court. Uh, it'll unlock at Ops 19. That is Q's Court. We're gonna get a brand new building. And um, that is going to improve the rewards that you actually get from these trials. These rewards will be important because uh, they will be the things that source the currencies, and there are a lot, that will progress you through this month's new forbidden technologies, all right? So coming back to Q's Court, you'll have a loot gain bonus to the rewards specifically contained within Q's Trials. And Q's Trials are going to be sourcing the 746 new currencies. <laughs> uh, you think I'm exaggerating. That will help you unlock, tier, and level up these new forbidden technologies. These pieces of forbidden tech are essentially buffs or customizations that are only active if they're slotted on your ships. At this stage, you can only slot one on any given ship. And if it's slotted on ship A, then you can't put it on ship B. They're like artifacts in that they have shards and have to be unlocked, but also like officers in that they have to be tiered and leveled as well. Be careful. It will cost currency to slot and remove forbidden technologies from your ships. Everyone is going to be sourced at least one piece of forbidden tech this month for free. So you will be able to look forward to that. And we can work on unlocking the rest within this loop of Q's trials. There will, of course, be ways of increasing your progression uh, by way of in-app purchase. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, that's about all I can really say. I, this is very confusing to me on the surface, but what I can tell you is that every single day you're going to get a daily gift chest that contains two challenge bells. Those challenge bells are essentially the entry tickets for Q's trials. By completing Q's trials, you will then uh, complete a daily. There's going to be a new daily introduced, and that daily is going to provide you currencies used to enhance upgrade, unlock, promote, tier, level, and all of the other things that we're going to do to these forbidden technologies, which are acting kind of like physical artifacts. Once we promote and level and tier and unlock at least, then we'll be able to slot them into a ship. I... I am curious to see how this is going to play out. It is somewhat confusing, but we will explore it and get through it together. Uh, there will be a new prime this month for hull health for all ships. It's a 400% boost. It'll show up in the galaxy tree and will launch for PC users first in the Exola store. However, there's going to be three other researches launching over here in the game this month over in the export research tree. 
which I'm actually pretty daggone excited about uh, over here in the export tree. Um, they are pretty good looking researches um, using only the export credits already in the game. First one that's going to show up is going to be Profits Favor. That will be Ops 46 Plus. That will speed up your reputation earned in the Bajoran Favor. And I love, love, love that one. I hope the bonus levels are, are pretty good. Second, you will have Enemies of Bajor, which is for Ops 41 Plus, which increases loot rewards from Jem'Hadar Hostels. And the third one is Chest Collective for Ops 41 Plus, which will increase the amount of redeemable chests in the Amalgam Refinery. Because, well, Lord knows that could move along a little faster. So that's a good thing. Uh, community, I know that there's not a ton of detail here regarding the forbidden technologies and Q's trials. What we do know is that it is progressive and you will have the opportunity to repeat these. You're going to be able to do two of these challenges every single day. And when you do ultimately cap out, you can go back and repeat others. But the most important thing is that these trials are going to be sourcing all of the currencies needed for you to progress through your forbidden technology acquisition free to play. Obviously, you'll be able to find Fast track that was spent, but that is how you will be unlocking the common, uncommon, rare, and epic forbidden technologies for you to slot onto your ships. If you have questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get answers for you. I'm going to probably not be able to answer them because, again, I'm still waiting to kind of flesh this thing out and see how it's going to be, but essentially consider it a more advanced and more in depth version of field training, perhaps. And that could be a very good thing as field training has been pretty popular with the players. Forbidden technologies, very much like artifacts and maybe fleet commanders and, you know, officers and projectiles all rolled into one. So we'll see how that plays out. Leave your questions and your comments down below and uh, we'll do our best to get answers for you. Please be sure to click that subscribe button while you are here and maybe click on the little bell if you want to know when we do other content that we might be able to help you out with. And if you don't feel like liking this video, I could certainly possibly understand that because I don't know that I've actually told you anything. But I'll beg your forgiveness. I am Ultimate DJs on the Teaching Trick YouTube channel. Your friendly neighborhood cat person saying meow for now. We will explore more as the arc progresses here over the next several days. And uh, we'll look forward to catching you over on the podcast and on our Twitch channel for uh, much more analysis and deep diving. In the meantime, uh, do we have, can I get that aspirin now, please? Please.